here is the sales data for the last month and my boss wanted to know if there are any extreme or outlier values in this data i used microsoft excel to calculate z scores for this data and identified the outliers so i'm going to show that to you i'm also going to talk about one common error that people make when they do this analysis in excel so watch the whole thing for that let's go here is my data and as you can see the sales numbers kind of go all over the place and in order to find out the z score and hence identify the outliers in excel we need to first calculate the average and standard deviation of the data i'm going to calculate them here so let's set up a cell for average and one for standard deviation average of our sales data is average of all of these numbers so i'm going to grab all the 223 records and that works out to be 3181 dollars to calculate the standard deviation we can use stdev.p function you can see that excel has many other standard deviation functions as this is the entire data and not a sample we are going to use stdev.p function and select all the numbers again so the average is 3181 and standard deviation is 2875 as you can see standard deviation tells me that our data is quite varied now let's go ahead and calculate the z score for each of the data points z score for any value is defined as that value minus average divided by standard deviation so we can do it like this open bracket this cell value e7 minus the average here in l4 i'm going to make it absolute divide that with the standard deviation l5 once that formula is entered in one cell you can just drag this down or click in the corner here to fill the g scores down for the entire data set now that we have calculated this we can identify outliers an outlier is usually any data point that has an absolute z score higher than 3 so here you can see that many data points have 2.18 here which means this data point is 2.18 standard deviations away from the average sale value so average is 3 3181 and this number 9456 is 2.18 times away from the average in standard deviations so usually we consider anything beyond three standard deviations away from the average as an outlier in normal data so i'm going to add one more column here and then say outlier question mark and here we can simply say if absolute value of my z score is greater than 3 yes else no and then you can fill this down there will be some outlier somewhere let's filter those down to see what they are so i'm going to apply filters and select all the yeses for my outliers and we can see that there are four records where the numbers are quite large to be honest and they have very high z score so here drinking coco $21000 and it is 6.36 z score definitely an outlier but this way of identifying outliers is not perfect as we can have different sales for each product identifying an outlier within all the sales of drinking coco would be a better option by that what i mean is let's clear out this and filter down for one of the products So we have got all these records for drinking coco and you can see that this is how those values are if i can identify what is an outlier within the drinking coco values itself then it will be more meaningful and we can do that quite easily with excel formulas talking about all these outliers reminds me that just 3 out of every 100 people who watch my videos hit the like button so that makes those of you who hit the like button an outlier or a really special person so i want you to become that special person hit that like button and if you have not already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing for more awesome videos like this now let's understand how to make z score 
keeping the product in consideration. I'm going to insert a few more columns here just to make space for that. And in the first column, I want to calculate average of product. This is average ifs of my sales value where my product value is in cell C7. And I'm going to select all of these bits, hit F4 to make them all absolute reference. We are going to keep C7 relative. So when you drag this formula down, it will change the product name and then you'll get different averages. So you can see that, for example, after nines, the average is 1907, whereas Armand Choco is 3431. Let's fill this down. And then we want to do the same for standard deviation of product. Now, unlike average ifs in Excel, we don't have a standard deviation ifs function. We only have standard deviation. So we are going to use standard deviation dot p function. And instead of giving all the data, we are then going to use the filter function inside. If you don't have filter and Excel 365 to use it, I'll put a different formula in the video description that will work here. So filter and then here we are just going to pick all the data again. And the filter criteria is product name is equal to this. So notice the structure of this filter. It is similar to how our average if sees only difference is here. We are just saying equal to and then putting the product. So when you write this formula and hit enter, you'll get the standard deviation just for after nines. And when you again drag this down, you will see different numbers. So for example, Almond Choco, despite having a higher average, has similar standard deviation to after nines, indicating that the sales of Almond Choco are less varied than sales of after nines. Let's fill this down as well. And now let's calculate the Z-score at product level. Here the formula is the value minus corresponding average divided by standard deviation and you can fill this down and now we can identify outliers again if this value absolute of this value is greater than three yes no and now let's see what are the outliers according to this new definition. So we are now finding a different set of numbers. If you remember earlier, we had the same values, but the 7001 is not there. But now we are finding that the white chocolate value of 7800 is actually an outlier, even though it wasn't an outlier as per the original criteria. So here these two were actually no, even the 85% dark bars here. The drinking cocoa was clearly an outlier in both cases. So in the original all average and all standard deviation, it has 6.36 Z-score, whereas at a product specific level, it has 3.14 Z-score. Let's put the cherry on top of all of this. We can select all of this data and then use conditional formatting to highlight the rows or the records that have these outliers. So once you select that, you can go to conditional formatting create a new rule and this rule is we are going to use a formula and the formula would be you can just look into the outlier column or let's just say you don't have that and you only have z-score column you can also write the rule there i'm going to use the z-score column to write the rule so here the rule is equal to absolute of and then select the z-score column value here in my data it is in j7 I'm going to change the nature of this reference by hitting the F4 key a couple of times to $J7. It locks the column to J but keeps the row number relative. So every row it checks the corresponding column J value. So absolute of $J7 greater than 3. So that is my condition. And then I want to format this in a bright color like this and uh, change the font color to white and make it bold. Once you click OK, any outliers in your data will be immediately highlighted 
in a really striking font and color like this so we can immediately spot those values now do you know that given monthly sales data like this we can use excel to predict the future sales and it's really easy to here is a video that talks about that click on it go and before you go make sure you like this video as well and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content i'll catch you there bye